question. What, what, what would you say is predominantly the best route at the moment? Is it real estate or is it business loans? Um, so real estate um, is, is the way to go, is the way to focus. Uh, business funding is uh, very lucrative, but it's difficult. It's diffi oh. difficult in uh, managing the relationship with the client because of how high the interest is, how short the payment schedule is, um, the number of points you can put into the deal. So there's a big payout, but it's a difficult sale. So it's, I, I wouldn't say that, you know, it depends on the person, their skill set, and their experience level, right? So um, that's what it really comes down to. I mean, there are those that could dive just into business funding and forget all about real estate and make a ton of money. Right. There's those who just focus on real estate um, and do well there. There's those who can do both. So my recommendation to all of you is to test the waters with both. Uh, real estate should be your main go to, but you should be along the way trying to gather business funding deals and learning a little bit about each of our products along the way. There is a skill set there that needs to be uh, uh, accrued through experience. Um, we have a lot of experience in our leadership team in that regard, so we can assist you. Of course, hop on the phone with your clients, let you hear what it sounds like, what it looks like. And it's different every time because it's a different type of business, it's a different product, it's a different personality, and you very much have to tailor your pitch, your narrative to who you're talking to, to what their needs are, so on and so forth. But um, yeah, there's a lot of money in business funding, so don't steer away from it. But for everybody you know who's not comfortable with that yet, Real estate. Real estate is the way to go. It's a, a smoother, warmer sale. Listen to your account executives. They'll guide you in the right direction. Uh, but where they overlap and they're the same is qualification. It comes down to properly qualifying your clients. And as long as you qualify properly um, and you make the call about those questions and not about the narrative of the client and you make sure that you're the one leading, you'll have the desired result. Um, and so I hope that answers your question. Yeah. yeah, and and I'll jump in on that, Pete. You know, you also got to kind of look at markets and look at trends. So outside of, say, straight business, the MCAs, there's a big factor or there's a big segment of the market that has to buy equipment. And so it's an asset-based program. So, again, the terms are probably a little bit more favorable. You know, an equipment deal might be, you know, a five-year pay, payout opposed to a short MCA. So again, when you're qualifying your customer or you're going after a specific industry or niche, like look at what they're going to need. You know, if it's someone who's got to buy, you know, products or needs to secure equipment to help advance and grow their business, that can be computer software and new printers, new POS machines, whatever that is, that gives us an opportunity to afford business funding and then also offer them other products. So it's like, okay, we could offer you this on the equipment, maybe this on the MCA. So this is how being consultive and knowing who you're targeting is going to help you maximize your time. So you do have to take a little more time to get to know a business owner, but look for business owners that like think about what they need and then make those calls reflecting, I can help you if those are the things you're needing to do to grow and expand your business. Well said. That's right. Thanks, guys. You got it. You got it. Well said, Christopher. And, and uh, unfortunately, sometimes the client doesn't know what they need or they're not telling you all of their needs. And so it's our job to grip, to pull that information from the client. We want to understand holistically what's going on with their business, right? For instance, you could be talking to a real estate investor, but little do you know that that real estate investor also is a construction group and has his own team. And so not only is he investing in these projects, but he's also building He's got a crew on the ground, right? He needs, a, he needs, he needs uh, materials. He needs equipment. And so all of a sudden, you can package together all kinds of products for this person. I mean, he needs gap funding. He needs equipment. He needs purchase money. He needs rehab money. He, forget about it, you know? Maybe he's got a portfolio and he does this all year round. You never know, right? But we have to ask. We have to understand. And if you are offering just uh, fix and flip money, right, just the purchase and the rehab, or you're offering just a, just say a cash advance, right, because he needs a little bit of gap funding, but you're not understanding holistically what's going on, the competing salesman will beat you out on the deal because they understand fully what the client's needs are and can provide a lot more value, right? And little did you know that you could have provided the same exact value, maybe more, but because we didn't gather the correct information and get the whole story. Anyway, I think you guys see where I'm going with this. So uh, great point, Christopher. And, and uh, yeah, any other questions around uh, this topic?